Okay guys, uh, this is the video for tutorial for assignment 4. So this is basically how a general question will look like. It says here use border plots to determine the range of k within which the unity feedback system shown in figure uh, is stable. Okay, And then I have given you the, the open loop transfer function there. So the question has three parts. The first is to draw the border log plot, log magnitude and phase plots. Then uh, find the range of k for stability from your border plots. And then the the third part of the question it says determine the gain margin, the phase margin, the zero dv frequency, and the one eighty degree frequency for your border plots for the value of k equals two hundred. So uh, the actual border plot uh, instructions are quite simple. So I'm again going to use um, MATLAB online. So here, what's going to happen is we're going to use what is called the ZPK formula. So you define your system. Let's call it as GB for border is equal to ZPK. Now Z stands for the number of zeros or the value of the zeros. Uh, P stands for the poles of the system and K stands for the gain of the system. Okay, so the first part of this question is asking us to determine the range of K for which the system is stable. So for that purpose what we do is we define the zeros so it's round bracket and then square bracket we're going to define the zeros. So if you have a look here, this system has no zeros. It is k divided by s plus 2 into s plus 4 into s plus 5. So there are no zeros. So in that case, you leave that as blank. All right. If there is values, you enter those values there. Put a comma. And then we come on to the poles, which are going to be the three poles, minus 2, minus 4 and minus 5 okay so it's going to be minus 2 minus 4 minus 5 then we close comma and if you want to find the range of stability then you put the gain as 1 okay so this is how you de determine the range of stability then you call on body that is the function of G, it should be GB, and you press grid on. Now, what does grid on do? It puts a grid on your work, right? So now you have all those things there. Now, when you reach here, if you right click on the figure and go for characteristics and look at all stability margins you'll have one point here now if you click on that point you will see that the gain margin at that point is 51.5 and it says that the system has got a frequency of 6.16 radians per second and it is closed loop stable now if you want to find the range of stability what you do is you need to now write an equation. So this is something that you need to do physically. Okay. So you need to state that 20 log of K is equal to the gain margin. In this case, the gain margin is 51.5. That's what we have calculated. So if you have a look here, the gain we found was 51.5 remember that figure there now if you solve for this one right so if you have a look here now this would mean that log k is equal to if you use your calculator it will be 51.5 divided by 20, which is 2,575. 
And now from here, you can get the value of k as equal to anti-log of that one, which in other words is 10 raised to uh, 2 comma 175. Okay, so it will be, oh, sorry, 2 comma 575. So it's 10 raised to uh, 2 comma 575. Okay. And you'll see that this is equal to, let's calculate again, 2 comma 575, which is equal to 375, roughly about 376. Okay. So what this means is that this system has got a range of stability of 0 less than k less than 376. That answers the first part. Now you can copy the diagram there so you should get your border diagram so you're sorted with the border diagram as well. If you click here you can actually save this uh, file or you can do it if it's uh, offline then you can directly take a screenshot as well and then you can paste that right. But I want the value this one for 51.5 where it says that the system that is the gain margin when k is equal to 1. So I need to see that that diagram first okay. Now when you're doing the second part so we have drawn the range we have found. Now the third part of the question is evaluate the gain margin, the phase margin, the 0 dB frequency and 180 degree frequency for your border plot at 180 uh, at for k equals 200. So before we go to MATLAB, so this thing uh, it requires a bit of calculation as well. So that is the other part. Now let me explain what is the gain margin and what is the phase margin here. And then what is the 0 dB frequency and what is the 180 degree frequency. Now let's start with the gain margin. So to calculate the gain margin what you do is you choose the point where the system is the face is at 180 degrees and then you plot it upwards to the point where it meets the magnitude plot. So this is the phase plot, all right, here you have the, the phase plot and here you have the magnitude plot, okay. So what is happening is that if you want to find the gain margin, you take the point where it meets the 180 degree line and then plot it upwards. And then the value that you get here, this is your gain margin, okay. Now if you want to plot the phase margin, what you do is you take the 0 dB point on your magnitude plot and then you plot that downwards and you get your face margin where it cuts the the face plot okay the 0 dB frequency is this frequency here at what frequency does it give you the zero decibels. So it is this frequency that you get here. Okay. And the 180 degree frequency is this frequency. It is this point where the graph cuts the 180 degree line. That is the face plot cuts the 180 degree line. Now another thing that we need to note and this is something that I mentioned when we were doing the actual class. How do you check for stability? So for a stability in a border plot, what you do is that for, or the rule is for 180 degrees frequency, right? 180 degrees uh, face, let's say 180 degree face, the magnitude should be negative. Okay, so if you want the stability of a system for 180 degree phase, so that means if you look at this 180 degree phase line and if you plot it upwards, the magnitude 
should always be less than 0 or negative. So in this case, you can see that this is 0 dB. And if you plot this line backwards, you get a frequency which is less than 0 dB. So this means that this system is definitely stable. While if this figure was meeting upwards above 0 dB, then the system is unstable. Okay. So we can do that test here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually now find the gain margin, face margin, all for the value of 200. So the only thing that you need to change here is that uh, you're going to choose the, the same value, right? But this time, instead of gain being 1, you're going to choose it as gain as 200, okay? And then you're going to call on body of G, B, and then you're going to say grid on. Remember, grid on is for calling on the grid. Now, if you go here and if you click on all stability margins, you'll get the different points that you want. So if you click here, you'll get the gain margin as 5.53. And over here, you'll see that you get the value of the face margin and the frequency is 4.51 radians per second. So let's come back here. Let's have a look here. At this point, let me just see if I can get that again. I'm just going to call that border diagram again. I just want to I'm just going to call the border again. I think I'm sometimes it just does get stuck. Right. Let me see if I can get hold of that. Okay, I'm having a, a slight issue there with that diagram and uh, but uh, you will get the values. Let's see if I can close figure one. Right. Now, let's see if I can get the, the border diagram here. Border GB. Okay, but anyway, uh, I'll do a second video on that one just to uh, recap on that one, just to uh, wind up on that question. But then this is how you get those values. Okay, I'll do a second video on that second part there.